How are you solution uncle? Wish you post my confession because I am living in fear. I am a lady aged 30 living in Pretoria. My parents died when I was a kid. Only left with my elder sister. She passed away when I was about to start grade 1. Grew up in a rural area near Pretoria staying with my stepmother's brother the man was so cruel always sent me to do hard jobs when i was still a kid sometimes i could sleep outside when it's raining i used to sleep in a tree that was near to the house the man raped me several times telling me if I tell anyone he was going to kill me. Just because of that hard life I was living in, I escaped to near farms, started working at a farm until I got married to a man who was the foreman at that farm. I loved him so much, I did not bother to tell him about my HIV status. I was afraid to lose him, also afraid that he would not love me after telling him my HIV status. He was promoted to be the manager of the farm. The position required a marriage certificate. We got engaged, start living together. We had two kids together. Since I know my status, I continued with my medicines. My husband did it knew that he was HIV positive by then. Started feeling sick and he passed away in 2017. I always feel guilt for giving him the infection. Confessed to him before he passed away. My husband told me that he won't accept my apology. He died angry. I got married to another man. Uncle, my worry is that whenever we try to have sex, all my private parts disappears. But I see the ghost of my ex-husband even in daytime coming to have sex with me. Last month, in the company of my husband, we went to consult a traditional healer in Polokwane. The traditional healer said I should divorce my current husband and admit that I am a wife to the spirit of my late husband or else more me will happen to me. When the ghost come at night, at first I hear a sound of footsteps. I saw the ghost at the window. Even some of our neighbors say they are seeing a very tall man walking on our yard every time the ghost arrives my husband will be asleep to an extent that he won't wake up despite the way i shout whenever the ghost arrives the ghost always asks me why did you kill me now i am pregnant but i never had sex with my current husband whenever we try my private parts disappears or having sex with any other men. I don't know how to tell my husband. He told me that if I am failing to solve the problem on my own, he is going to divorce me. I love my husband. Can you please help me? Thank you so much for your confession, my sister. What people will help you? This is one of our sisters. He is crying. Uh, having a difficult time uh, the ghost is harassing him so can you please help each other how are you solution uncle can you please tell my story to the world i am breathing fire since the passing away of my ex-boyfriend my name is melissa tisa i am from tembisa in south africa was born on the seventh day of february in 1976 went to local schools from primary to tertiary education. I was very intelligent at school, started my tertiary education at Bidvest University, acquired my first class marketing degree before finishing at work-related learning. I met this guy, I can't mention the guy's name, 
we started dating, loved each other so much, planned to be together for the rest of our lives. As of me, I loved him from the bottom of my heart. We don't wanted to lose each other. So we went to a traditional healer so he can help us strengthening our relationship. None of us wanted us to separate. The traditional healer took a very small knife and stabbed me on my right hand, cleaned the blood with a cloth, also did the same to my boyfriend, took two cloths and put in a card box, locked the box with a metal locker. In the command of the traditional healer, we went to the river and threw away the box into the water. From then, I could not feel well when I don't know my partner's whereabouts. Even everyone at work knew that we loved each other so much. I finished work related learning and returned to school. That was a major blow to our relationship. Because of distance, I started having assumptions that the boy must be cheating on me, won't responding on time. On my final year at the university, I started dating a classmate. The guy was very rich, lied to my ex-boyfriend that I was pregnant and the father was my new boyfriend that is my classmate. He committed suicide and passed away. I moved on with life and got married to the new boyfriend. I was still a virgin by then. We went to Crestvale Motel for honeymoon after our wedding. Upon arrival, that is when I discovered that I was no longer a virgin. I tried to explain to my husband that I knew nothing about where and how I lost my virginity, but he didn't understand, left me at the motel and later divorced me. From then, I see my ex-boyfriend. Every time I fall asleep, he is coming to have sex with me, went to many prophets seeking for help, but still no change. Is there anyone who can help me? Thank you in advance, uncle. Thank you so much for tuning in to our channel. Hope you subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends your solution, uncle.